네, 오늘 이야기를 해줄 분은요. 독일에 살고 있는 리카 씨입니다. 리카 씨. 네, 어떤 이야기를 할지 그리고 어, 사실 사고가 날 뻔한 경험이 있었다고 하는데 mm-hmm. 굉장히 궁금해지죠. 한번 들어볼까요? Okay, 리카 씨, 나와주세요. 나와주세요. A rather scary childhood memory of mine involves all the driving my dad used to do when we would go to places like Spain or the North Sea just to get away for a few days during summer vacation or Easter vacation. And he's the one who did the lion's share of driving. My mother took over once in a while when he got tired, but he did most of it. And one situation I remember very clearly, the whole car was asleep. We were so tired. And apparently he got tired as well because he closed his eyes for just one second and drove against a traffic island, a little island between opposing streets. We woke up by the sudden movement of our bodies going forward. And he reacted very well and steered the car straight immediately because he understood what had happened. But it goes to show that you should never drive when you're too tired. And we avoided a possible car pileup situation. We were very lucky. Yes. Yeah, they were very lucky. Very Thankfully, lucky. they weren't hurt or anything. 네, 그 뒤로 또더 주의하셨을 것 같은데요. Mm. 어떤 이야기였는지 저희와 함께 한줄한줄 한줄 자세히 또는 그리고 정확하게 한번 파악을 해보죠. Okay, so the first line that we're going to look at is a rather scary childhood memory of mine involves mm-hmm. a rather scary childhood memory of mine involves. 네, 문장 구조가 a rather scary childhood memory로 시작을 하고 있는데 이제 a scary rather 빼버리고 일단 mm-hmm. rather는 꽤라는 말이고요. Mm-hmm. 그래서 어, scary childhood memory까지만 mm-hmm. 하면 mm-hmm. 그냥 어렸을 때 겪었던 무서운 경험이잖아요. 근데 내 경험이다라고 붙여주고 싶을 때 right, right, right. 앞에서 my를 안 썼잖아요. Right. 그러니까 of, of mine. mine, of me라고 하지 않습니다. Of right. mine. mine, a book of, of mine. mine, a friend of, of mine. mine, a friend of yours. yours. 이렇게 뒤에 소유격을 yeah. 뒤에 써주게 되겠죠. A friend of his, a friend of hers. 네, 네, 소유 대명사라고 하죠. 그래서 of mine involves 제가 겪었던 일들 중에서 꽤 무서웠던 경험은 이러한 것들을 포함하고 있습니다. 여기에는 뭐가 들어가 있는가 하면요. 바로 다음 문장이죠. All the driving my dad used to do. All the driving my dad used to do. 아빠가 학원 하던 그 모든 운전이라는 mm-hmm. 말인데 여기까지도 뭐 문장이 완전하진 않습니다. 언제 이제 운전을 많이 했는지 okay. 보면요. When we would go to places like Spain or the North Sea. Mm-hmm. When we would go to places like Spain or the North Sea. 네. 유럽이다 보니까 사실 right. 다 연결이 되어 있잖아요. Right. I always forget. <웃음> Don't you? 네, no. 저도 가끔씩 다른 나라를 가는데 운전해서 간다고 <웃음> 놀랄 때가 있는데 할수 있죠. 그래서 mm-hmm. 유럽은 다 연결이 되어 있고 또 EU라고 하는 그런 공동체가 있잖아요. Mm-hmm. 그래서 독일에서 운전해서 좀 왼쪽으로 가서 내려가게 되면 스페인이 나오는데 스페인으로 가거나 또는 North Sea 북해라고 하는 지역 같은 곳에 갔을 때 아빠가 항상 운전을 다 하셨을 거 아니에요. Mm-hmm. 네. 그 운전과 관련해서 a rather scary, scary childhood, childhood memory of, of, her, of hers. <웃음> 리카 씨의 그 기억이 있다고 합니다. Mm-hmm. 그런데 이 곳들을 왜 갔다고 하고 있죠? Just to get away for a few days during summer vacation or Easter vacation. Just to get away for a few days during summer vacation or Easter vacation. Just to get away. 뭐 특별한 이유가 있었던 것은 아니고 no, 뭐 just... Yeah. We wanted to. 그렇죠. 뭐 거창한 정말 큰 이유는 아니고 <웃음> 그냥 그냥 뭐 주말 뭐 여행 정도로 생각을 한 거죠. Just to get away. Get away는 물론 get away from me 라고도 쓸수 yeah. 있겠지만 이제 원래 살던 곳에서 get away 하면 은 yeah. 여행 가는 거죠. 살짝. Mm. Go on a get away means mm-hmm. you're just going on a small trip. Go on a get away 라는 표현도 있어요. Mm. Yeah. 그래서 여름 휴가 때 during summer vacation 또는 여름 방학이 될 수도 있겠고요. Mm-hmm. or easter vacation. Right. 부활절 휴일 때 며칠간 그냥 놀러 가기 위해서 이렇게 운전을 하러 하고 스페인 또는 mm-hmm. the north sea 북해 가면 이제 어떤 일이 생겼죠? 다음에 mm-hmm. 나오고 있습니다. Mm-hmm. And he's the one who did the lion share of driving. <웃음> And he's the one who did the lion share of driving. 그리고 he's the one. 아빠가 이런 걸 했어요 라는 말이죠. He's the one who did the lion's share of driving. Mm-hmm. 재밌는 표현 나오고 있죠. Yeah. Lion. lion share. 사자. Share. 나누다가 아니고 여기서는 사자의 목. 
portion. Mm -hmm. My share, I mean, 내 목. Right. Your share. Mine. 내간 선생님의 <웃음> share. 내간 선생님의 할당량. Quarter. Uh -huh. Share. Uh -huh. 이런 거죠. Mm -hmm. Lion's share라는 것은 이제 이야기 속에 나오던 거죠. 예전에 이제 동화, mm -hmm. 우화 같은 곳에 나오는 건데 이제 사자가 고기를 더 많이 가져가니까 uh, right. Lion's share가 수거처럼 어떤 관용어구처럼 대부분이라는 말입니다. So, if so you, even if you have a hard time remembering, just think lions are very big and yeah. they eat a lot. They so a they'll lot. probably eat the most. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, he's the one who did the lion's share of driving. 하면 아빠가 운전을 대체로 하셨다는 말입니다. So did her mom ever drive? Of course she did. <laughs> My mother took over once in a while when he got tired. Mm -hmm. My mother took over once in a while when he got tired. 네, 가끔씩 아빠가 피곤해졌을 때 엄마가 take over 했다는 거죠. Mm -hmm. Took over. Take over. 네, 과거형으로 쓰이고 있습니다. Mm -hmm. 운전대를 잡았어요라는 말인데요. Mm -hmm. 네, take over. 어떤 take 뜻인가 over. 하면 어떤 것을 인계받다. Mm -hmm. Take over. Yeah. Can you take over the show? Oh yes, please. Thank you. No, I'll take over the show from here. Okay. We don't need you. Goodbye, Hyun Woo Sam. Goodbye. Get away. Really? Get away. Really? I'm gonna no. go, go, go no. on a get away. No. no, no, no. I will never no, come no, back. No, no, no. That was a joke. 네. 그런데 <웃음> 엄마도 가끔씩 운전대를 잡았지만 아빠가 이제 어땠다고요? 다음 문장. But he did most of it. Mm -hmm. But he did most of it. 그런데 아빠가 아무튼 대부분 운전을 하셨다라는 거죠. Mm -hmm. And then? And one situation I remember very clearly. The whole car was asleep. Oh. And one situation I remember very clearly. The whole car was asleep. And one situation I remember very clearly. 제가 아주 분명하게 기억하고 있는 어떤 상황이 있는데 mm -hmm. The whole car was asleep. Mm -hmm. 재밌는 표현이기도 해요. The whole car, 차 전체가 잠들어 있다고 했는데 The car cannot be asleep. Right, the car is not asleep. We mean everyone in the car 네. was asleep. 굉장히 좀 흥미로운 영어식 표현 방식이죠. Mm -hmm. The whole car. Yeah. 네. You could say the whole, if, if everyone in your office is asleep, you can say the whole, the whole office, office is asleep. <웃음> the, yeah. the whole office was the whole school. busy, mm -hmm. sleepy, asleep. Right. 다양하게 가능합니다. Mm -hmm. 다음 문장이요. We were so tired. Mm -hmm. We were so tired. 우리는 정말 피곤했었어요. Mm -hmm. 다음 문장. And apparently, he got tired as well. Mm. And apparently, he got tired as well. 전체 문장 뜻은요. 그리고 아빠도 피곤했었나 봐요. 라는 말이 되는데 그렇게 했나 봐요가 되는 이유는요. 바로 이 apparently 라는 단어 때문입니다. Right. Apparently. 네, 설명을 드릴게요. 보아하니, 듣자하니 라는 말입니다. Apparently. Appear 하는 거죠. Right. 보이는 거. Something that appears that you see that this thing is true or mm -hmm. right. 네, 그래서 뭔가 it appears that 뭐뭐뭐 이것을 그냥 right. 다 줄여서 mm -hmm. apparently apparently 네, apparently 보아하니 듣자하니 이거 이것을 형용사 형태로 바꾸게 되면 apparent apparent 분명한 딱 보이는 누가 봐도 mm -hmm. 알수 있는 apparent disappointment right 딱 봐도 느껴지는 실망 apparent Oi. You could say like it's apparent that he or 아, she blah blah blah. 그렇죠. It's apparent that 어머함이 분명히 보인다라고 mm -hmm. 할 수도 있겠습니다. 자, 그래서 아빠도 피곤했는데 mm -hmm. 그 다음 문장에서 어떤 일이 일어나고 있죠? Because he closed his eyes for just one second. Mm -hmm. Because he closed his eyes for just one second. 네. 그러니까 리카 씨가 apparently 딱 보니 그랬던 것 같아요라고 하는 판단의 근거가 여기 나오고 있는 거죠. 왜냐하면 왜 제가 이렇게 생각하냐면 이라고 말하면서 He closed his eyes for just one second. One second. 아빠가 눈을 1초 딱 감았어요. 굉장히 위험한 상황이죠. Of course. 네, 그런 다음에 어떤 일이 일어났죠? And drove against a traffic island. 오. And drove against a traffic island. 네, 도로에 그 안전지대가 있잖아요. 차가 mm. 안 다니고 있는 잠깐 뭐 사고가 있을 때 대놓거나 mm -hmm. 이럴 수 있는데 그 안전지대로 차를 몰고 들어가 버렸거든요. Mm. Drove against라는 것은 이제 right. 그 안으로 쑥. Mm -hmm. If you go against the wall, you're... Going into the wall. Yeah. 네, 그래서 이제 그 안으로 들어가 버렸다라는 말입니다. Traffic Island 재미있는 표현 나오고 mm -hmm. 있고요. 그 다음 문장은요. Mm -hmm. A little island between opposing streets. Mm -hmm. A little island between opposing streets. Traffic Island라고 하는 것을 또 누가 이게 뭔데요라고 물을 수 있기 때문에 설명하고 right. 있습니다. Right. A little island, 뭐 섬인데 yeah. 도로에 섬이 있을 수는 없겠죠. Right, right, right. So it's But we mean it's surrounded by a road and it's 네. kind of sitting, you know, by itself. It's an isolated area. Right. Within, like, in the middle of the road. Right, but not connected to anything else. 네, 그래서 작은 그섬 같은 안전지대인데 between opposing streets. 이쪽으로 가는 거, 이쪽으로 가는 거가 이제 mm -hmm. opposing, 서로 양방향으로, 반대 방향으로 나 있는 도로들 사이에 있는 안전지대인데요. Mm -hmm. 한번 공부를 해보면요. 바로 여기에 서로 방향이 반대 방향인 
opposing. 그렇죠? Opposing. 반대 방향인 것을 이제 또 활용을 하자면 이런 말도 가능합니다. 서로 대치 중인 양쪽 군대. Opposing armies. Mm-hmm. Opposing armies. Opposing armies라고 하면은 이제 두 팀을 말하죠. 대치 중이고 그런 군대가 되겠고요. 그리고 상대 팀. Opposing team. Mm-hmm. Opposing team. 네. 그리고 기본형 반대하다, 상대하다가 바로 oppose. 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 또 경기의 상대방은 opponent. 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 Oppose를 가지고 여러 가지를 만들어 본 거죠. Mm-hmm. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. We woke up by the sudden movement of our bodies going forward. 오, 그렇죠. We woke up by the sudden movement of our bodies going forward. 네, 아마 브레이크를 밟았을 것 같아요. Right. 그러니까 몸이 앞으로 기청한 yeah. 건데. Everyone wakes up. We woke up. 우리는 깨었습니다. 일어났습니다. 그런데 무엇에 깨었는가 하면 무엇 때문에 일어났는가, 일어났는가 하면 by. by. Wake up by. <웃음> 뭐뭐에 의해서 잠이 깼다라고 할때 이런 <웃음> 말을 씁니다. By the sudden movement. 갑작스러운 움직임. Of our bodies, 우리 몸들인데 그냥 뒤로 간 것도 아니고 옆으로 간 것도 아니고 going forward. 앞으로 몸이 갑작스럽게 움직여서 잠이 깼다고 했고요. Mm-hmm. 그 다음 문장. And he reacted very well and steered the car straight immediately. Mm-hmm. And he reacted very well and steered the car straight immediately. 네, 그래서 그가 아빠가 reacted very well 반응 대응을 아주 mm-hmm. 잘했고 steered the car straight immediately. Mm-hmm. 곧바로 자동차를 방향을 바, 자로, 바로 잡았어요. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 자, steer 공부를 해보겠습니다. Mm-hmm. Steer의 뜻은요, 조종하다, <웃음> 특정 방향으로 right. 움직이다. Steer. Steer 하는 거고요. Steer. 그래서 자동차의 핸들은 steering wheel. 네. Steering wheel. Steering wheel이라고 부릅니다. Mm-hmm. 바퀴 같은 건데. Right. The wheel that you use to steer the car 네. or boat or plane in 그렇죠. whatever direction steering, you want. 네, steering or helicopter. Wheel. No, that's different. <웃음> 네. 자, 일, 일반적으로 자동차 핸들이죠. Yeah. <웃음> 그래서 이렇게 부르고요. 왜 갑자기 바로 잡은 거죠? 다음 문장. Because he understood what had happened. Mm-hmm. Because he understood what had happened. 네, what had happened. 방금 전에 어떤 일이 일어났었는지를 지금 이해했기 때문에 mm-hmm. 두 상황이 살짝 시간 차이가 있기 때문에 had happened라고 한 겁니다. Mm-hmm. 어떤 일이 일어났었는지 지금 이해를 했기 때문에 mm-hmm. 다음 문장요. But it goes to show you that you should never drive when you are too tired. Mm-hmm. But it goes to show it goes to show that you should never drive when you are too tired. It goes to show 굳어진 표현으로 많이 쓰입니다. 뭐뭐 mm-hmm. 한다는 것을 보여줍니다. 이걸 보면 알수 있습니다. Mm-hmm. 너무 피곤할 때에는 절대로 운전을 해서는 안 된다는 걸 보여주죠. Yeah. 음, 다음 문장. Okay, the next one is, and we avoided a possible car pileup situation. Mm-hmm. And we avoided a possible car pileup situation. A possible situation 하면은 일어날 수도 있는, right. 일어날 수도 있었던 mm-hmm. 상황이고요. A car pileup situation. 이제 pileup 여러분 아시죠? Mm-hmm. 다중 추돌 사고 상황을 우리는 피했습니다. Mm-hmm. 그리고 마지막 결론은? We were very lucky. Mm-hmm. We were very lucky. Yes, so I think we can agree once again that they were very lucky. Right, they that, were definitely very lucky. There were no coming, you know, cars. Right, and I'm glad her dad reacted very quickly. Yeah, so that's good. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's the end of the story. We're going to watch the story again. Right, we're going to watch it two more times. The first time with English subtitles, the next time without. I uh, hope you guys can listen carefully, and now you can understand all the things in okay. it. Okay. Okay, let's watch. A rather scary childhood memory of mine involves all the driving my dad used to do when we would go to places like Spain or the North Sea just to get away for a few days during summer vacation or Easter vacation. And he's the one who did the lion's share of driving. My mother took over once in a while when he got tired, but he did most of it. And one situation I remember very clearly, the whole car was asleep. We were so tired. And apparently he got tired as well because he closed his eyes for just one second and drove against a traffic island, a little island between opposing streets. We woke up by the sudden movement of our bodies going forward. And he reacted very well and steered the car straight immediately because he understood what had happened. But it goes to show that you should never drive when you're too tired. And we avoided a possible car pileup situation. We were very lucky. A rather scary childhood memory of mine involves all the driving my dad used to do when we would go to places like 
Spain or the North Sea just to get away for a few days during summer vacation or Easter vacation. And he's the one who did the lion's share of driving. My mother took over once in a while when he got tired, but he did most of it. And one situation, I remember very clearly, the whole car was asleep. We were so tired. And apparently, he got tired as well, because he closed his eyes for just one second and drove against a traffic island, a little island between opposing streets. We woke up by the sudden movement of our bodies going forward. And he reacted very well and steered the car straight immediately because he understood what had happened. But it goes to show that you should never drive when you're too tired. And we avoided a possible car pileup situation. We were very lucky. 네, 이번에 잘 이해가 되시나요? I hope that you guys understood everything. <웃음> 네, 일단 이 이야기는 전부 다 이해를 했다고 가정을 하고 믿고 다음 코너로 가보겠습니다. 오늘의 보너스 코너는요, 바로 Common English Mistakes! <웃음> That's right, so let's get right into it.